I'm going to tell you the prophetic vision that he just gave me for you or for all of us, which is really cool. And that one was on the no sound live stream. So I'm going to pick that up in a moment. Um, so what he's showing me is that if you're believing for an outcome, and it could be anything. I want you to even think right now, where are you believing for an outcome? Um, could be in your finances, could be in your health, could be for a family member to be saved or to know God. Could be something to do with a loved one in, in any kind of way. And where are you believing for an outcome? It could be for clarity over your business or your ministry. It could be for a greater influx of clients or a greater yeah, clarity around the vision of who you're meant to work with and how you're meant to work with. But where are you believing for something? And there's an undercurrent there that you've maybe not identified and maybe God is going to reveal to you right now of if this thing occurred, it would in some way glorify you or it would in some way be a savior to you or it would in some way mean that now you are yeah more abundant, free, delivered, any of those kind of things, right? And, and you can even do this over someone's salvation. You can be praying for somebody's salvation and there can be an aspect there where in your natural side of you, in your mind, your emotions, your will, your heart, your human heart, it can be an aspect there of it's for your glory. It would exalt you. It would mean that you were holy enough. You were righteous enough. You did a good thing. You were successful. You were prosperous. You were whatever. And or there can be an element there of then your life would be better. So where is there a dream, a desire, a promise that you're praying into? And there's a, there's a belief system there of then I would be better off. Then I'd be happier. Then I'd be more abundant. Then I'd be more energized or focused. Then my household would be, you know, better. Anything like that. Then I'd have more time. And so what God was showing me is I'm not going to give you faith to believe for an abundant outcome or a big outcome when you've hinged that outcome to things that are about you and when you've hinged that outcome yeah either to like self-glorification or exaltation look at me look what i did look how holy i was look how accomplished i was look how whatever i am look how successful i am etc or you've hinged that outcome to he's just showing me now that's why i've got my eyes closed because he's just coming through you've hinged that outcome oh here it is to things that are already given in me so i want you right now to think where have you hinged an outcome and it's something you're praying into you're believing for you're 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 trying to believe god for and you know that you, your faith is not actually like locked and loaded there you're not actually in certainty you feel like you're trying to get there. Maybe you feel like I'm trying to believe bigger for money. I'm trying to believe for clarity in my business. I'm trying to believe for my whole household saved. I'm trying to believe for, you know, peace in my home. I'm trying to believe for financial breakthrough in any kind of area. I'm trying to believe for whatever it might be. So my example was, I'm well, one of them, there's more, <laughs> but I'm trying to believe for a really big, you know, awesome financial um outcome with the sale of this warehouse and I just like couldn't quite get there and if I was honest which I didn't really want to be because I didn't want to voice it Proverbs 18 21 but if I was honest I was like eh, I feel like what I actually believe is more that it would be like an okay sale and it would be like well that's fine but now it was just an okay sale and on top of it now I don't have the warehouse and the beautiful space that I built and like that's what I get that's that's where I was at and I was like oh it was like annoying me, frustrating me. I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want to voice it, but I articulated it, you know, to the right, correct person to do so, to have a faith-based conversation around it. And I couldn't even kind of like figure out how to bring it to God properly in my prayer time. It was just, it was confusing. And meanwhile, my friend, my sister in Christ, Melaine, who is one of my clients here in the Secret Garden, who's been a private client of mine off on since 2018, but he's a very close friend of mine and whose home I was just staying at in Auckland. She was like getting this number that's just, I was like, all right, like that's actually like kind of ridiculous. Like even the most optimistic big talking real estate agent in the country wouldn't be pulling that number out of any place. And she's like, oh no, I'm telling you, I'm certain. I'm like, wow, you really have a supernatural gift of uh, uh, faith. And I've seen that, not just in that, in multiple things. But I was like, okay, God, why? 
why am I not even willing to believe for that figure? Because I feel like, oh, well, why would I get to have that kind of an outcome? I was like, eh, it's more than that. And what he showed me was, you know, because you can't believe for something that by definition, this is a message you need to hear in some area of your life. I don't know where it is. I'd love to know if you want to share and we can, you know, pray into it more or talk about it or what have you. But he's not going to give you faith, supernatural faith, to believe for a miracle outcome, a supernatural outcome, an impossible outcome that's only possible in God in an area where you've hinged yourself to it where you've either hinged your own, you know, kind of self-glorification to it in some sort of a way that this would reflect on you somehow, or you've made that outcome or that promise fulfilled something that would give you something that's already given in him. Because guess what is already given in God? Clarity, certainty, assuredness, hope, joy, total deliverance, total freedom, provision in every area, financial and otherwise significance, identity, purpose, wisdom. We could go on and on. All the things that you need on earth and everything that has to do with who you are on a spirit level and, of course, your eternal salvation, but your heaven on earth experience here, it's all already given in him. It's not when this promise is fulfilled, then I am free or delivered or provided for or prosperous or made whole or holy, or enough in any way like that.